Yeah. Yeah. Jay. Sean. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Jay Sean, and I wanted to do another quick pickup. Now, I'm, I told you before in another video that as far as designer stuff, I do like it. I don't wear all designer. I do have some pieces. I like to pick up some quality stuff or quality things. I will say this. As far as jewelry is concerned, I don't wear designer jewelry because a lot of the designer jewelry is, to me, more of like... Um, like fashion jewelry, meaning like um, it's not real. It's like plated. It's not even real gold. Like you get Versace chains and stuff. They're not even, it's like made out of silver or not saying that that's not real, but it's not gold or white gold or platinum or whatever. It's just like costume jewelry is the word I'm looking for, not fashion jewelry. It's more like a costume jewelry type of vibe to me. The problem is uh, designers still charge a lot of money for that stuff just because of the branding behind it even though it's not actually quality jewelry if that makes sense I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it i'm just giving my perspective so for me i like gold yellow gold but i don't wear a lot of yellow gold i wear a lot of white gold and stuff like that so there's times where i wear a little yellow i got glasses with like the you know the 18 karat on it and it looks nice it, whatever but i never have something to kind of pop with it right so I was like, you know, I like to buy a little quality pieces sometimes, but I'm in the market. I want to I want to get a nice uh, boxed official, not a bust down, even though I would entertain one, I guess, in the future. But a, a particular Rolex, I don't want to talk about it so I have it. It's like a nice classic starter joint. I would talk about it more when, once I get it, but I want to get it in a certain way. But that's a whole nother story. So I wanted a gold watch, but I didn't want something too cheap where it kind of took away from other things that I personally had. So I was looking at, I was like, what can I get? You know, I looked at even I even looked at citizen watches and some people told me that that wasn't a route. I mean, I just really didn't have a clue about what I was going to invest in. So as far as a gold watch, yes, if you could get a gold Rolex in the stainless or whatever, yeah, great, but I'm not doing that. So I was figuring, trying to figure out what gold watch can I get that's kind of respectable, but also just pretty good as far as budget-wise and stuff like that. And I found that there were some watches that weren't that heavy of a brand that I wouldn't mind, but then they were too bulky and stuff like that. As you get older, I feel like you start getting smaller watches and you start getting things that fit more more fitted like probably like how it was designed to so uh, a few years ago i would never wear a 36 millimeter rolex i would think it looks like a girl's watch in today's time i'm thinking it looks perfect it looks like classy it looks like it has it's supposed to so this is something i picked up it is at macy's so it's not super high end or anything like that the price is somewhat affordable but it's still a little pricey considering that it's still a quote-unquote designer brand watch so it's not like a great time piece in my opinion in the pictures, I really didn't think it looked that good, but everybody gave it great reviews, male and female. They all said it looked nicer, nice and, you know, classy. You can dress it up or down or whatever. So I think they're right because when I finally saw one, uh, I picked it up. So let me show you. All right, so this watch right here, you can get it at Macy's. Macy's still does, I think they still sell some Versace stuff and some Gucci stuff and whatever. Not clothes, but they do sell certain items and accessories such as watches and stuff like that. You may have to search a little bit if you're looking for particular models, right? Now, I don't like all Gucci stuff. I don't like all Versace stuff. I don't like all whatever stuff, but I have to be able to like it personally uh, to get it. I don't care what the name is. I don't care who has it or whatever the case is. I won't buy something just because of a name only. I actually have to like it. So let me just show you. This is from Macy's. It's actually a real one. Apparently, man, the bootleg market is crazy because they copy everything. Even stuff like this, apparently they make fake ones too. And I mean, if that's what you need to do personally, I mean, I guess do you, but I just never recommend doing that. You want to be proud to have something. Um, but it's a whole nother story. That's your personal reasons or whatever, why you're doing whatever you're doing but this is the watch let me tell you in the video even looking through the screen it doesn't look super great to be honest with you it looks better in person at first i was like this really isn't my style uh, i'm not really feeling it but once i got it i think it looks pretty nice versace watches i don't know why but they have a super big um what is it called uh the faces are like 44 millimeters 
And if you don't know about watches and sizes, like I said, a lot of the standard Rolex, what it used to be was a 36 millimeter. So that's a huge difference. 44 is when I used to wear big watches or when people were um, busting down Breitlings and stuff like that. So this is on wrist. This is actually, I believe it's a 39. I believe this is a 39 millimeter or maybe a 40. I would definitely not go above this, but it's a thin bezel. I mean, it's a thin face. It doesn't look bulky, so it fits a little classy. It's not bad. It's a little satin finish with a little polished finish, so it makes it look pretty nice. I don't know how big it looks or how small it looks on camera, but it's nice. I wouldn't get it bigger than this for sure. So this is a tag watch, a tag automatic. And this watch right here is only a 39 millimeter, which I think is similar. The reason why one looks a lot bigger than the other is because, sorry I'm in a shade or a shadow, is because the actual face, the dial area here, is smaller here. But the case here is 39 millimeter, and I believe it's the same on here, or maybe this is a 38. It just looks bigger because, again, the dial area inside is much smaller on here than it is here. This looks a lot more open-faced in comparison, right? But they're actually about the same size. If anything, one of them is a millimeter smaller or whatever the case is. So when I get my Rolex, um, the one I want is a 36 millimeter, but I think the one I'm going to get to start with because I want a brand new one in the box and certified and stuff like that. Um, it's a 39, I believe. So if you look at this, this is what it looks like. It's not bad at all. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I don't know how gold watches go. I'm pretty sure some type of plating on here. But I never expect stuff like this to last forever. So for me, I don't wear gold jewelry again like that a lot. But it's something that I would definitely uh, wear when I need to. Just to add a little bit of gold with my setup. So hopefully you can see it. Again, it looks better in person. If you're not sure, if you're on the fence about it, go ahead and go to the store and try to find one in person at a Macy's. And you can see it's not too thick and bulky. I don't know why. Even like Movados. I remember at one point Movados were real popular. Man, I wouldn't wear a Movado now, but there was a time where uh, Movados, you know, they were hitting. And I tried one on. It was like half the price of this. It was like 1100 or 1020 I think, something like that for this. But the Movado was like on sale for like seven. I was like, oh, or eight or something. And I was like, oh, all right, let me just entertain it just because it was cheap. Because remember, this isn't a main watch for me. This is just something I wanted to kind of dress with my other things when I wear gold. So I was like... Maybe I entertain that because I'm not really looking for like a everyday watch. I'm just trying to find something that can go with something I have without spending too much money anyway. So when I put it on, I mean, it didn't look bad looking at it this way. It had the three dials and stuff like that. But it was so fat looking. See how this fits more normal? So if you ever wore a Rolex or something like that or something like this, this is heavy. But it's like, it's not thick. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. But it fits like... I don't know. To me, I call it like a gentleman's watch, like the, just the way it fits. You know what I mean? But yeah, long story short is I do recommend it if you feel like budgeting out about a thousand dollars, ten twenty, ten fifty, or whatever at the tax, or eleven hundred dollars. I don't know. Um, I try to get it on sale or something, but apparently they don't drop the prices on the Gucci watches unless it's like something that's not popular. But this particular one, I couldn't find it on sale anywhere. You might be able to find it on sale at a different website. But again, I keep hearing people buying fake stuff and selling fake stuff. I'm not about to spend no money on nothing fake, especially if I'm thinking it's real. That's a problem for me. If I knew it was like a copy or some shit like that right off the rip, I would probably do it. Well, I wouldn't do it personally, but I mean, I would feel more comfortable with my decision. This is like a big guessing game. I don't know. I want to know what I pay for, basically, right? So, um, so I'm rambling and talking so fast. I got so much to do today. I'm trying to speed this up. Uh, make sure you do everything at top level, at your top level, because remember, uh, you're in no competition with anybody except yourself. So stay tunnel vision and make sure your next move is your best move or at least your better move. Until next time.